They called him Flying Officer Bush in remembrance of the man who brought him to the squadron. The pilots who took him over when his master didn't return were kind to him in his sorrow. They agreed that the oldest member of the squadron should adopt him. Every time his friends set off on their excursions, they pat his head and stroke his soft ears. That was how cameraman Terry Ashwood found him, a pal to everyone and one man in particular, his new master. At each takeoff, Flying Officer Bush watches every plane off the ground with the critical eye of a veteran. What goes on in that intelligent head, no human can tell. But he seems to like to settle down among the empty chairs and wait. By some strange reasoning, he knows when they're due back. He pads out onto the edge of the field and takes up his post to welcome the homing fighter pilots. Every time it's the same thing, that run to the familiar figures, picking out each friend and leaving no one out of the welcome. Someone once said he was like an old hen with her chicks. In a way, that's true. He loves to fuss over them. But in that big Alsatian brain of his, he knows that there's one man short, the one person above others, his master. He knows what it is to feel anxious. He's on the alert for that note of a returning plane. Maybe this is master now. Flying Officer Bush is not mistaken. Now his happiness knows no bounds. With funny little suppressed squeaks of joy coming from that big body of his, he pours out his affection at his master's feet. Bush loves these moments. They're talking his language now. Over cups of tea, he catches the words dogfight. He digs his black, wet nose into his mug and settles down once again in the family group. His family. <laughs> 